Hi, my name is Eric Lassart, and I am the CEO and founder of the Winner Academy. Today, I'm here on a beautiful day near the Irish Sea, and I'm going to share with you the Stone Soup story. So, once upon a time, there was a big village, and they never wanted to share, but they had lots of fun. And then one day, three monks come to the gates and knock. Nobody came to greet them. And then all windows closed tightly. And then they just go in and they knock on the first door. And the lights go off. And he knock and then they try the next door. And the same thing happened. And they do that again and again. Until the wisest one says, These people don't know how to have fun. So let's make stone soup. So they go and collect some sticks in the middle of the yard. They put a small pot full of water from the city well and they put it on the fire. It begins to cook and they said that we need to find three beautiful stones. So they start looking until a brave little girl who was looking at them, she asks, what are you guys doing? The first one said that we were collecting sticks. The other one said we're looking for rocks. The other one said we are making stone soup. So she says, I know where I, you can find some nice stones. So they find three beautiful big stones and they put them in. And then they say, this pot won't be big enough to feed the whole village. She says, don't worry, my Mahama has a big pot. So she goes home and she gets the biggest pot. And then, but when she went off with the pot back to the monks, then the villagers ask her, her mama and the villagers ask, what are you doing with that big pot? The three strangers are making stone soup. And then everybody said, mm, well, stone, very easy to find. I want to know how to just make it. So everybody goes and looks. And then when she brings the big pot and then they put in the hot water, then she says, that we need some some pepper and then the farmer says I have some so he rushed off and he brings pepper and other sorts of spices he has a taste and he says all these peppermints and everything will be just perfect now we just need some vegetables a few carrots and some peppers then the la little girl's mom says I have just a few carrots and a few peppers she go she rushes home she puts in the peppers and the carrots she brings them to the monks then more people bring other sorts of stuff and they start sharing they bring more and more and more and after that they start sharing they had enough food for everybody and then they had a big 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 party and they celebrated together so and then in the next day they said thank you so much for cooking such a delicious stone soup I hope you can tell us now the recipe and then they told them and there they lived happily ever after and they keep on sharing so do not forget life is a game make your rules play and win enjoy the game bye For me, the stone soup has three messages. Message number one, if you approach a door and they close it before you, don't get upset. It has nothing to do with you or with them. It's just that they're afraid of the new change, a new things. So don't get upset and leave them. Instead, do something that would make them interested and they would come out and open the door. We all are experts at something. Some of us are good at cooking. Some of us are good at driving. Some of us are good at diving. We all are experts at something. Being an expert is good. 
But sharing is even better because sharing is power and sharing is fun. So why not organize a stone soup party? Bring together your friends, family, community. And I can tell you something. You will have a great time, great meal and a success story. Because you know, life is a game. Make your rules. Play and win. Enjoy the game. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond the measure. 
It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be gorgeous, talented, beautiful? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightening about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine like children do. We were all born to manifest the glory of God in us, that is, in us. It is not just in some of us, it is in all of us. As we give ourselves permission to let our light to shine, we automatically give other people permission to do the same. As we liberate our own fears, we automatically give permission to other people to do the same.